Hello, I am Mesos Orem, and welcome to the SFML tutorial number 6, and today we will be covering animation. You will want an animation named Animation Example, just like this, and it will have 18 different animations, with one being an intermediate. First, you will want to make a texture, say SF, texture, texture. Below that, we will say if not texture dot load from file sprites slash animation example dot png we will say standard c e r r error could not load file then copy this and paste it. Then as standard ENDL. And then return negative one. Next, we will say SF sprite sprite and texture. To keep track of our animation, we will say int text width equals zero then scroll down a bit next we will say sprite dot set texture rectangle zero zero and 32 by 32 next to get the origin we say sprite dot set origin and then sprite dot get texture rectangle dot size dot x divided by 2.0f and then copy all that and change that to a y. We will be putting the sprite in the center of the screen so we say sprite dot set position width divided by 2.0f and height divided by 2.0f then so it's easier to see our animation we say sprite dot set scale 4.0f 4.0f we will need to time our animation so we can say float timer equals 0.0f and float timer max equals 0.25f. Scrolling down a bit, we can add to our timer. Timer plus equals 0.1f. Then we say if timer is greater than or equal to timer max, our texture width plus equals 32. The reason is 32 is because our animation has each cell being a 32 by 32 texture. At the end of this if statement, we will say timer equals 0.0f. In order to move our sprite, we say if text width is less than texture dot get size dot x. We can copy this it there copy that and paste it there what this is doing is as long as texture width is less than the entire animation size in the x coordinate then it will keep moving to the right 32 pixels at a time but if we get to the end it will stop so in order to not have that happen we will copy this say if this is greater than or equal to then we will set the texture width to zero. Now, scrolling down, we will say window dot draw sprite. Now we can enter the debug menu. See that the animation is playing. But sometimes we might want an intermediate part of our animation to wait a bit. So up here, we will say float wait timer max 
equals 2.25 F and float weight timer equals weight timer max. Scrolling back down, we will say if weight timer is greater than or equal to weight timer max, we will copy all this, put it in there. We want the middle part of our animation to be the one that stops, so we will copy this, say if, change this to an equal sign, and this to a divided by 2.0f, and add wait timer equals 0.0f, and then so our wait timer counts, we can say if wait timer is less than wait timer max, wait timer plus equals 0.1f. Now we can enter the debug menu and see that our animation animates, stops, and then animates again. Thank you for joining me today, and next time we will be covering text and timers. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day.